Okay, so we're back to talk about 1985's Heart of the Dragon. So it's directed by Sam O'Hung, in which he also stars alongside Jackie Chan. So this is an interesting one. It's uh, something a little bit different. Because yes, there is lots of action in this. And very, very good action. But there's a lot of dramatic elements to this one. The basic story is uh, Jackie and Samo are brothers. And Jackie is a cop who was in the SWAT team and has recently transferred to the CID. So he's doing really, really great in his career. But in his personal life, his older brother, played by Samo Hung, uh, has uh, learning difficulties. And obviously, there's a lot of things that Sam O'Hung struggles with. He can't look after himself, basically. And obviously, the parents are no longer with them. So Jackie, in addition to his career, has to balance the responsibilities of caring for his older brother. You know? So it's a really, really interesting balancing act that this film does. You know, delivering some phenomenal action but at the same time it also offers up some really poignant uh, emotional dramatic stuff it is rain man-esque in a lot of ways although obviously this was 85 rain man was 88 i think so this predates rain man what i have to say as well right off the bat i have to give a lot of props to Sam O'Hung because obviously in addition to the directing job the performance that he puts in because these kinds of roles the you know whether it be someone who has learning difficulties someone who has any kind of disorder or mental illness very very difficult roles to play and there's always there's always a danger with this sort of thing to overplay it there's a danger of overplaying this sort of role sam o'hung does a phenomenal job um there's what i will say there's the emotional the dramatic stuff the first half of this movie is very much a slow burn and i appreciate that some people might be checked out and there's part these sorts of parts of the movie they won't necessarily be for everybody but there is some legitimately good stuff in there. And obviously the chemistry between Jackie and Sam O'Hung. Or, you know, obviously we've talked previously, um, you know, they grew up, you know, how they grew up together in the Chinese opera and the amount of films have been in together. So you buy these two as, you know, brothers. And you just, the... Um, you know, their relationship, it, it, it oozes off the screen. You know, you buy that these are two people who've grown up together and you can see the love and the care that they have for each other. Like, this isn't, obviously, you know, playing two characters, this is playing two characters in a film, but you can see the real people playing the parts that, yeah, there's a genuine bond and a connection between the two of them, which is really, really nice to see. And it, obviously it makes for a phenomenal pairing on screen. But that's the dramatic stuff, which, again, handled really well, although, you know, it's not necessarily going to be for everyone, and that's fair enough. But basically, for the first out half of the movie, you're not sure where the film is necessarily going. But then once we get some kind of plot underway, basically the operation that Jackie Chan becomes involved with, uh, there's basically a big jewellery theft. And his brother Sam O'Hung inadvertently becomes wrapped up in all of this. And then obviously ends up being abducted and then Jackie has to take matters into his own hands to rescue his brother um, The uh, and then obviously we get into the action basically it's, it's front loaded with the drama back loaded with the action and what I gotta say is once the action starts man oh boy basically 
we and all sorts of different kinds of action. You know, we get gunfights, we get car chases, and we get hand to hand stuff and various, you know, weapons. Uh, so in similar sort of things, crime story, I suppose. Um, but the finale of this, where Jackie has to go rescue his brother, and he enlists the help of various other members who were in the SWAT team with him. It, it's phenomenal. The action in this one, wow. Genuinely, wow. But, you know, you don't expect anything less because obviously you have Jackie doing the fights and then you have Sam O'Hung directing, you know, and obviously these two, they know how to put fight sequences together. So you have the two of them working in tandem with each other. What I will say about Sam O'Hung, because obviously given the nature of his character in this, Sam O'Hung doesn't have any fight scenes but he still has the opportunity in certain sequences to showcase his physical, you know, it's a great physical performance from him in parts as well, you know, the way he sells getting slapped around and beaten up, and there's a scene where he t that involves him being thrown from a hill, you know, and, the, you know, so he, he gets an opportunity to showcase some physicality, Although Jackie does all of the fight scenes. Also, it's interesting to see the different styles, you know, because obviously, you know, they do the good old keep the camera wide, keep the camera still, these, you know, and let the, uh, the performers perform, you know, showcase the beauty of the choreography, so that's good. They do use a bit of that slow motion stuff, you know, obviously you see some of it in Enter the Dragon. Um, and it's not necessarily for everyone, you know, but it's it's not overdone. So there's some in there, but not enough to turn people off. You know, and it's, it's used sparingly, so that's good. But yeah, this, I really like this film. I really, really do. But obviously the first half... Bit of a slow burn, but then we really shift gears as we get into the second half of the film and the action that's coming down the line. Well, it, it's worth the wait, to put it this way. And what is interesting is the ending to this, because, yeah, you know, Jackie goes in there and he uh, puts the bad guys down and he saves his brother, but the way it's presented, he has to take matters into his own hands and he has to operate outside the law on this. And obviously he pays the price, you know, it ends up with him going to prison and serving some time. So it's one of those, he does the right thing in, in the sense that he saves his brother. But it's not one of those where it's a fist in the air moment, you're like, yeah, we got him. You're not quite sure how to feel. It's it's one of those, it's kind of a sombre ending. But very Im impactful and very effective. Um yeah, Heart of Dragon, I really, really like this one. And again, it's showcasing, you know, that these two guys, Samo and Jackie, as good as they are in the action stuff, as, as well as that they are damn fine actors who have a lot to offer. So that wraps this up again. Beautiful Blu-ray release from 88 Films once again. They are doing the Lord's work. You can see the care and the attention to detail that's been put into these restorations. So I highly would recommend Heart of the Dragon in this 88 films release on Blu-ray. But that wraps this up again. Just nice to see, you know, Jackie and Sam all together. And obviously that period of time in the 80s and going into the 90s in China. And obviously this one was filmed in Hong Kong. It's just... It's got such a real cool vibe to it, you know, an aesthetic. But uh, again, if you've seen this one, please feel free to share your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. And if it's one you haven't heard of, well, I hope you're intrigued and check it out because it really is worth it. So that wraps this up. Thank you for listening to me ramble and I will see you in the next one. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye.